It was the first deadly accident in Six Flags' 38 years of operation. Around 5 last night, a roaring rapids raft overturned. It was full of passengers and flipped in front of dozens of people waiting for their chance to ride. Well, we stood there and, and uh, were watching this thing overturned, and, and no one could believe that it really happened. Uh, one or two people uh, popped up, but um, there was a lot of screaming, a lot of confusion. Witnesses said one side of the raft dipped down. The back side of the raft then flipped, overturning it. The 12 raft riders ranged in age from 9 to 42. At least two park visitors immediately rushed to help them. took off my shoes and jumped in the water and swam to the raft. and. Uh, there was people um, not breathing. There was people that were cut and injured. This morning, Six Flags says everyone is still terribly shaken by this accident. Our first concern is for the family, the friends, and our employees who were affected today. And that's what we're going to concentrate on right now. We're not concerned about anything else. Um, right now, we're going to focus on the, the people who were affected today. I would like to express my most heartfelt sympathy to the families and friends of those touched by today's events. This is a very sad day at Six Flags Over Texas. We are uncertain as to the cause and are diligently working with the police department and the Arlington Fire Department to find the answers. Uh, Dee? Let me go over what I know and answer uh, the questions that I think you have to the best that I can and then we'll I'll take some questions when we're done if I can uh, you know understand that it's very early we're still uh, literally working the, the scene itself so we're not uh, prepared to, to go into a lot of detail of what we know uh, we got the first call on the 911 system at 525 this afternoon the fire department had units on the scene within five minutes uh, rescue efforts obviously had been started by that time by Six Flags personnel uh, currently there have been 11 people taken to Arlington Memorial Hospital. The boat uh, holds 12 people. Uh, our in information from the people on the boat are that the boat was full, had 12 uh, occupants at the time that it, uh, that it overturned. We interviewed the people that were available to be interviewed at the hospital. Uh, we really didn't get any clear picture of what exactly caused the, the boat to overturn. We uh, got similar stories from everyone. There was no out of the ordinary thing that occurred. No one heard a loud noise or saw anything out unusual. Uh, they said the boat took a, a, a dip or a, a went down kind of an incline, which I guess it does throughout the ride, according to the people that, that were on it. And really the, the consensus was that for whatever reason, the boat ended up upside down and uh, the, the uh, people began trying to, to get out. Uh, the water apparently where it turned over is uh, about waist deep. Uh, the, I think the problems came into play that uh, for safety reasons some of the people were seat belted into the ride. Some of the people we talked to said that they once they realized the boat was going over they were able to unfasten their seat belts very quickly and, and, and get free of it. Uh, out of the 11 people taken to the hospital I think you've all been advised that we do have one fatality. Uh, 